the dream setup's done. It looks insane. It looks insanely good. I'm gonna go get Leo in here and see what he thinks. My heart is pounding. My heart is actually pounding. It's showtime. I'm nervous. Oh, it's just pitch black right now. Okay. My heart's beating. Mine too. I'm actually pretty, <laughs> pretty happy. Here we go. Three, two, one. Today is the big day, guys. After 10 months, I get to build a subscriber, his dream setup once again. This is gonna be the most epic season yet. And for the first time ever, I have to rent out a U-Haul truck to fit all the gear inside. Two, two, five. Our uh, van is not here. <laughs> this is a great start. <laughs> Maybe it's this one? Jack Bob baby, 5361. I love how they just keep it, um, leave it open. So we have plenty of blankets in here to cover all the gear, but more importantly, we are taking a dolly this time. So this is gonna help me so much in moving the furniture and the bigger, heavier items inside, inside the, uh, the house. I don't know why I didn't think of this the past five seasons, but this is it guys, this is going to be the MVP here. So my goal was to do two seasons for 2020, but after COVID hit, I was forced to put the series on hold due to travel restrictions. But after 10 months of patiently waiting, I decided it was time to do something about it. I may not be able to leave the US, but I can still shoot an episode here in California. Gotta make sure to put enough of these down here so the tables don't get scratched. <laughs> All right, first thing we're gonna do, clean the tables. These are the most important part of the setup. I've also decided to take some extra precautions so that we are doing this as safely and responsibly as possible. The first thing was obviously to get tested. So both my cousin and I took the COVID test three days prior to make sure we're clean. Don't know if I should put this one flat or have it um, kind of lean against the van. Uh, put it flat. Flat, right? All right. Let's cover the top just to make sure nothing falls. Of course, the test came back negative, but we still took other precautions as well, like using hand sanitizer and wiping down everything we touched. But more importantly, I asked Leo and his family to stay quarantined seven days prior to us visiting, just to make sure there isn't any outside contact. Always remember to lift with your knees, kids. I'm glad I skipped leg day yesterday. <laughs> Otherwise, my legs would be sore. So my idea is to sandwich the PC between the Alex drawer so it doesn't move around. Because that right there is one of the most important pieces of the setup. And I don't want to damage it. Luckily, I kept the case with the Leon Lee XL. Oh! Always remember to lift with your knees, kids. Oh! Bruh. Let's go. So the table over there is going to stop the PC from moving forward. And obviously the door is going to close off on this side. So there's really no space for the PC to move around. You can probably even do this. More snug fit. I definitely went overboard on the blankets. We still have about 30 or so blankets left. 
but it's all right. Better be safe than sorry, as I always say. And you're about to get into an accident. What a way to start off. Holy crap. So guys, we're officially on our way to Leo's house. GPS says about 46 minutes. We're obviously doing this on a weekend to avoid traffic. Um, it is currently Saturday, 1221 p.m. So it should give us about seven hours to get in, get the setup done, and then head out. All right guys, we're finally here at Leo's house. He lives about uh, two blocks ahead. Uh, I was so calm the entire trip here until I arrived and I started getting nervous out of nowhere for some reason. It's been a while, you guys. February 2020 was the last season of Setup Makeover, so it's been well over 10 months that I've done this. So I'm a bit rusty, and I feel like that's where most of the nervousness is coming from. Whew, I can do this though, I can do this, okay? Um, let's go surprise him. Let's go, let's go build the setup. Hey, good. Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh, nice How's it going, man? I wish I could shake your hand, but yeah, you know, I'm trying to be things. So. When you come inside, it's okay. You want to take off the mask. Okay, cool, cool, yeah. cool. So this is my cousin Bob. Hi, He's gonna nice be recording. Hi. How are you guys? How are you? you? Nice to meet you. Yeah. How are you guys? Good, good. How are you? Yeah. Hello. Hi. My brother, uh, Noor. He's five. Hello. Noor, say hi. He has a speech delay, so he will... Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Hi. hi, how are hi. you? Say okay, hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> so this is your living room area. Yeah, so this is the living room area. Uh -huh. uh, this is my grandma. Hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. Hi. 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 H
broken computer. Uh, this is a, my uh, special place right here. Some lotion and toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> Um, That's it. I love it. I love the humor. This is hilarious. What's yeah. uh, what's going on with this laptop? Right here, it's broken. Oh geez. It turns on maybe for like an hour and then it'll turn back off. Uh, That's pretty. What did you do? Did you drop this thing? My baby brother. Oh, I see. Yeah. I see. That's unfortunate. That's pretty rough. So, uh, That's this cool. is where I play. This is my Xbox, and then I have my computer and mouse. There. Your console setup, right? My console setup. Yeah. So how long have you been playing on the console? Probably since I was like four, so like 10 years. Jesus. I started playing on a PS2. Uh, I 1v1'd um, a lot of my uncles because they owned it. So I would play zombies with them. I'd play 1v1 them. Um, for a four year old, you know, I kind of pick up a lot. Yeah, yeah. Pretty, pretty easily, so. Damn. So do you prefer Xbox over um, PlayStation? I would say PlayStation does definitely have better games. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. Um, Xbox been lacking a little bit, you know. <laughs> Come on, Xbox. Throw some shade to, uh, yeah. to Microsoft there. That's cool, man. So, um, have you ever dreamed about getting a new setup? Yeah, um, I really, I, uh, I have actually. I think, you know, having a PC is great for everybody. You know, you can really go, go places with having, you know, a computer or a phone, do anything you really want. But yeah, I definitely have. Okay. Um, I'm really excited to finally have it, you know. I'm curious, why are you using a keyboard and mouse with a console? So, uh, you can play uh, Modern Warfare, uh, you can play Arc Survival, um, pretty much. And then you can play, my guilty pleasure is play Fortnite, so I play Fortnite with it too. Of course, of yeah. course. So they're like pretty much budget. I saw the Razer Viper Mini that they released it. So I was like, oh, it's not too expensive. It's pretty cheap, so I decided to get it. Nice. Was, yeah. So do you prefer using a keyboard mouse when yeah. you're playing competitive? Yeah, I like it a lot better. Why, because it's ac more, uh, more accurate? accurate. Okay. I have more movement with it, I feel. I'm not as sluggish. Okay, makes sense, makes sense. So why not just play on a PC if you like using a keyboard mouse? Um, well, for like a while, uh, I didn't really have the money to. My parents, um, we like have a little struggle sometimes with financially. Oh, okay. So it's not really like an option that I can just go and build a PC. Or but you would prefer a PC yeah. over a console. Oh, okay, that makes Definitely. sense. What's what's the ideal like dream setup in your mind? That you have mm, probably like a 30, no, nah, probably like a 3080 because a 3090 I feel like is overkill. Oh, straight to the PC specs. Okay, so you want a 3080. What do you want to game on? What resolution? Probably like for 1080p. 1080p with a 3080? Ah, uh, 1440p. Oh, 14, 14, don't be modest. Don't be modest. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. Are you looking for like a super crazy looking setup or something more on the middle minimalistic side? Kind of, kind of, kind of in between. In between, definitely having like a crazy one, but also having something that I know is, per is perfect for me. Okay. So yeah. Nice. You mind if I sit down? Take yeah, a, yeah, you can sit down. What is what's going on over here? Oh, Lemon is hard. So uh, I got a I got a manifested. So this is uh, you know so like some Twitch streamers they have like their their uh, their name and, uh, stitched into their chairs. So, okay. so I'm trying to manifest it. So it's a budget version. Yeah, it's a budget version. <laughs> it's, it's it's coming along slowly. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. So yeah, let me see what this uh this is about. Yeah. So this is it. So you just basically sit here. Yeah. Right in front of your thing. Okay, yeah, I mean, pretty clean, pretty tidy. You yeah. kept everything. Cable management is non existent, but you yeah. know, it's, it's to be expected. I tried uh, with the zip ties, you can see, but I came up. You did, yeah, it's a very squeaky chair as well. Yeah, it's, it's like, it was like 40 bucks. I was like, oh, that's pretty good. I'm going to get it because one of the chairs broke. So. Nice. Yeah, you did. You put some effort in there. You know, I see some zip ties. Not bad, not bad. So that's, it's crazy that the um, when you look at pictures for like five months straight and then when you're actually here mm -hmm. to see the setup in person, it's like deja vu yeah. in a bit. So what has stopped you from buying or building a new setup? Um, definitely something that has stopped me is, you know, I'm 13 so I can't really work, work you know. You're 14 technically. Oh, actually 14. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be there, you gotta be there. I'm um, 14 so I, I can't really, you know, get it, work or get a PC mm -hmm. to get money for it. So I feel like that's something that's stopping me too. You know, it's hard because you gotta save money from like Christmas, your birthday. Allowances. Allowances yeah. too. So it's not, it's hard, a little hard. And then, you know, my parents don't really have the money, you know, also to do that, so. So there's definitely financial. Fin a little financial stress there. Stress there? Yeah. Struggle, okay. Yeah. So other than gaming, what do you plan on accomplishing with the brand new setup? Um, I probably also want to, you know, start streaming a little bit. I want to build a platform that is pretty cozy and safe where people can just come and you know chill there and hang, out. and hang out and not really need to you know worry about any other thing 
you know, I also want to spread a little bit of awareness about like, you know, kids on the spectrum who have autism because my little brother, he's on the spectrum. So there's a speech delay oh, um, okay, also. Nice. Yeah, so it's a uh, kind of rough for him to be able to talk. You know, it's kind of like the words are on the tip of his tongue, but right. he can't actually say it. Right. So that's something I would also want to spread, you know. Oh, where... that's sweet, man. That's really sweet of you. Um, what platform are you planning on streaming? Probably Twitch. I feel like YouTube is the place for me. Really? Why is that? Why? Are you... Well, I feel like YouTube is mainly meant for like people who already have an established platform. Okay, I see what so... you're saying. You never know, man. Anything's possible, honestly. All you need is a, a badass setup, which you're gonna get today, and anything else after that is is possible. This whole section is pretty much free real estate. Sweet, so. sweet. And you're. You're okay with me drilling holes into yeah, the wall? Fine. I hope I don't damage anything today. This is the first time I'm drilling holes into someone's home, but it should be a, yeah. should be, I got a pretty awesome setup plan for you, man. I, I know you're gonna like it. Yeah. I know you're gonna like it. What is one thing you would love to improve from your setup? Probably, I think I'm using the game right now. Console? Um, yeah, the console, probably either upgrade it or just, you know, switch to the PC all, uh, all together. Okay. Um, so that's really what I wanna upgrade mainly. And then that's pretty much it. Like, I'd be fine with just one monitor. All right, cool. Leo, it was nice talking to you, man. Um, I'm pretty sure you know what happens next. Yeah. We're going to be locked up in here for I don't know how long. Hopefully, uh, we'll get done like in six hours or so, yeah. but I can't promise that, of course. So hopefully, everything goes according to plan. And um, we'll bring you in and reveal the final setup, and you can test it out. How does that sound? That sounds great. All right, dude. Um, so, yeah, let's get to work. We took apart the entire setup and it's about 2.36 p.m. So we're gonna see how fast we can get this done. Hopefully before the sun goes down. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is install this massive headboard. I brainstormed as much as I could to find the best possible way to mount this without damaging the wall as much. So to poke as few holes as possible, I took that approach instead. So what we're gonna do is use the TV wall mounting method. So picture you're mounting your TV against the wall. That's exactly what we're gonna do with this IKEA, uh, IKEA tabletop. So I picked up one of these flat TV mounts and I'm gonna hook this up against the wall and then mount the headboard to it. So the desk is gonna be protruding about two, three inches away from the wall, so. All right, first thing you do is find the stud on the wall. So I'm gonna use my stud finder. All right, there's, it seems like there's one over here. You can tell this part is, uh, it's not hollow, so the sides are. So there's definitely a stud here. We're gonna mark it real quick. We're gonna be mounting the headboard 47 inches from the ground. So here in California, the studs are usually around 16 inches apart. So if the first stud is here, that means the second one is gonna be closer to here. Yep, that's it right there. So we're gonna be mounting this bracket against the wall right here.
All right, guys, so the, uh, the mounting bracket has been officially installed. As you can see, it is nice and snug against the wall. So now what we're gonna do is hook up this entire headboard on this mount. As you can see, I already installed the hooks in the back. So these are basically gonna hook up on the bracket. Yes, that is literally the hardest part of the setup. Everything else is going to be hands down. I already mounted um, both of the monitor mounts on here and I pre-drilled all the holes for cable management. So everything else is pretty much downhill from here. Just got to make sure it's even. It's a little crooked. I got to fix for that. Perfect. Look at that. Perfectly centered, just the way I like it. I'm proud of myself, I'm proud of myself. Check out these awesome 3D printed risers that we made that also matches the color scheme. If you guys remember, I did something similar for season one of Setup Makeover, where I did the uh, the Stormtroopers for Philip's setup, and it adds a nice little accent to the uh, to the setup. It kind of lifts up the desk. So I decided to do something again for, for this season. Now, Leo doesn't really have any type of like favorite movie or superhero, so I couldn't really do something specific. So I thought I would keep it kind of simple, but also add a cool design that fits in perfectly with the setup's theme. And these, they look pretty cool. All right, time to bring in the Alex drawers. We need to align this perfectly with the length of the headboard because the desk itself is the same exact length. So I'm just gonna put this here for now. Perfect. Now we have to set up the risers. The risers are going to go right here at the edges. And then the white ones, which you can't really see, is going to go in the back. So that's why these don't have any designs on them. Now we got to make sure that these obviously stay attached to the uh, actual alloy drawer. So we're going to glue them using none other than some Gorilla Glue. Not sponsored, by the way. Make sure it's perfectly at the corner. Once these stick on there, they stick on there, you guys. They do not peel off unless you want to take a piece of the Alex Jewel with you. So that's why I love these uh, this Gorilla Glue so much. It's just the adhesive power it comes with. All right, so we hooked up all the risers on there. Now we got to install these tiny little rubber stoppers. That way the desk doesn't move once we install that. So I'm gonna put about three of them. And I'm gonna put three basically on each of the uh, risers. <laughs> Make sure they align perfectly. There, beautiful. Look at that. Looking so good so far. I'm absolutely loving the way this is turning out. Next thing I'm gonna do is hook up the monitors and the speaker. All right, time for the peripherals. This is gonna be a uh, super clean, minimalistic wireless setup. So as you can see, I already drilled a hole in the desk to route the keyboard and mouse cable. So that means we're gonna have to cut a slit for the mouse pad. The best part about this keyboard is that the cable comes out from the center. That means that the cables aren't gonna be visible from the top. So I can route the cable straight down through the desk for a super clean wireless look.
just like that. The keyboard wire is hidden, but we also got to give the mouse enough slack since he's an FPS gamer. So there you go. Just like that, you get a wireless keyboard and mouse look. All right, it's time to mount the soundbar against the headboard. I already have two uh, nails already pre-drilled in there, so I just got to line that with the, uh, the mounting holes in the back of the soundbar. And I already drilled a hole in the back for, uh, for cable management. So since we're hooking up Leo with a Broadcaster Rode microphone, it only makes sense to pair that with a Rode A1 audio interface. So I wanna mount the audio interface somewhere on the side of the Alex Jord, that way he has convenient access to the gain and the volume controls. Now the issue with this is that the uh, XLR cable protrudes out of the audio interface. And I wanna be able to route this cable over the audio interface and towards the back of the setup. So what I'm gonna be doing is using this XLR adapter. The cool thing about this is I can actually change the orientation of both sides of the plugs. So for example, I'm gonna plug one end over here and I'm gonna use an extension XLR cable to plug in on the top. But as you guys can see, that doesn't really, that doesn't look that good. I want this XLR cable to face that direction so that I can route the cable towards the back. So what I can do is remove the screw here and then pull this out and rotate it any direction I want. So this is the orientation I want. I'm gonna take the screw and then screw it back on. So now if I put this here, the direction of the XLR cable is gonna be going towards the back, which is exactly what I want. I'm gonna hook up some of my favorite 3M VHB tape on the back here, so that way it sticks against the Alex drawer. I think two should be enough. Actually, no, the protruding feet is extending out further than the VHB tape, so that's not gonna work. I'm gonna have to stick an, an additional layer on top of that. All right, cable clips are installed. Now we're gonna do is just cut off the excess. I always say no setup is complete without a headphone hanger. So this is a super minimalistic, budget-friendly headphone hook that we're just going to install on the side here to hold up his Aura's gaming headset. Right there. Perfect. All right guys, we got here at one o'clock p.m. It is now 6.12 p.m. So we actually got done pretty quickly this time around. Almost a little over five hours to get the setup done. But the dream setup's done. It looks insane. It looks insanely good. I'm gonna go get Leo in here and see what he thinks. My heart is pounding. My heart is actually pounding. It's showtime. Once you're in, go ahead and stand right there in front of the setup. And I'm gonna close the door. Okay. I'm nervous. Oh, it's just pitch black right now. All right, come over here. We can put him in front over here. Facing the setup. All right. When I count down to one, open his eyes and see what he says, okay? Okay, my heart's beating. Mine too. I'm actually pretty, <laughs> pretty happy. Here we go. Three, two, one.
we go. Three, two, one. Holy shit. <laughs> Yo, what the hell? He looks completely different. Right? You love it? I love it. Oh my God. This, this looks crazy. Right? Got the same colors, you want the white, yeah. black, and green, so you know we stuck to the color scheme. Not a single wire inside. As you can see, we installed this headboard. Yeah, it looks So we kind of routed all the cables behind it. So that's why I was asking if we can drill stuff inside the wall. But yeah. it looks it looks awesome. This is one of the best setups I've done. It is this is the best setup I've done for setup makeover, and you're the lucky chosen one. So Oh my god, it looks it looks different completely. It looks so great. So let me talk a little bit about the setup. You got a hook chip with the best monitors. We got 27 inch. Dual 27 inch monitors, 165 hertz. <laughs> now you're gonna take advantage of like high refresh rate gaming. But take a look at your system, dude. Remember you wanted an RTX 3080? Oh my God, that's a 3080? That's a 3080. <laughs> that's the Gigabyte RTX Vision 3080. It's a nice God. white looking card and it kind of matched the color scheme of your system. So everything's green and white and they got a little bit of black in there as well. Mm -hmm. CPU, you have an eight core processor. It's a 3700X. So if you want to stream, you want to edit videos, you cannot do it with that processor. Oh and you got 32 gigs of RAM. So oh, plenty, so plenty, nice. plenty yeah. of RAM to do whatever you want. Um, it's pretty cool. Yeah, dude, what do you think about the desk? I like it, it's perfect. Yeah. It's I hooked you up with a nice sound bar as well yeah. from Teotronics. You got a headset there from Auras and a mechanical keyboard and mouse from Auras as well. So all the lights are synced up together. You can change it to whatever you want. This looks beautiful. That's awesome, man. And I know you want to stream too, right? Yeah. So we got to hook you up with some streaming gear. Got you a badass broadcaster microphone from Rode. Nice. And I hooked that up with the uh, the audio interface. So you're going to okay. sound crispy. You're going to sound really good to your streamers so they can hear you nice and clear. That piece so, is sexy, not going to lie. Yeah. I even uh, 3D printed some risers for you. Some white and green risers to lift the desk up a little yeah, bit. Looks great. So Leo, now that the setup's done, we have kind of like a tradition here on Setup Makeover where you can win an additional prize. I know you told me you're good at Rainbow Six Siege. Okay, yeah. Right. Here's the offer. If you can get three kills on a casual match, casual, okay. I will give you a $250 Steam gift card. You can buy whatever games you want on there, okay. including Cyberpunk, because I know Cyberpunk's yeah. on there. You think you can do that? Yeah, I definitely can do that. Oh, confidence, all right. See, Nathan, take notes, all right? That's the confidence you can <laughs> yeah. get. Yeah, <laughs> definitely can do that. All right, let's see. Let's set it up and uh, see what you can do. So Leo, we're actually gonna change the rules a little bit. Um, just to spice it up. Every kill you get in the casual match, you'll get a hundred dollars. A hundred bucks? hundred dollars towards a Steam gift card. <sighs> okay. <laughs> so if you get an ace every round, what is that? A thousand dollars. It's a thousand bucks. That's a, that's a, unless it goes to three rounds, sure. that's fifteen hundred. I might have to change the rules a little bit actually. <laughs> How does the game look? It looks great. Oh, this is the wrong thing. Oh, I forgot to change that. What's my crouch? Oh no, what's C. my crouch? Oh, C? Control. Oh yeah, it's C. All right. Okay. Okay, the grappling. Oh my God, right off the bat, he gets a kill. That's a hundred dollars. I'm a little shaky. I got you this. You got this, dude. Oh, okay, there's two buttons for the DPI. Okay, got it. So this is, oh, my teammate just damaged me. Let's go. Oh my God, this is smooth. You like that, right? This is crisp, yeah. You're, you're running 300 plus FPS, my dude, on ultra oh my settings God. in 1440p. I bet you consoles can't do that. <laughs> Not at all. Especially on a Xbox One S. Oh. Oh my god, you're on one HP, dude. I know. I got this though, I believe. Oh, oh through the barrack. Does that give you a bit of a confidence? Yeah, at least I'm able to get one kill. Yeah. The goal is 300. Two of my teammates already died. Oh. Looks like you have to get this ace. Yeah. Oh, they have a twitch. All right. Oh no, it's a 2v4. At least let me get one kill. Okay. Oh. Nice, not bad, oh, not bad. Nice, you done. 
Not bad. 300 of bucks already. Round two. Oh no, bro. He blew up in a hole. Good stuff so far, man. Okay. I already be better than Nathan. Nathan. You already better than Nathan. I already better than Nathan. <laughs> I already better than Nathan, so. Uh, Nathan, I know you're watching, man. Yeah. Take notes. I'm Take sorry, notes. I'm sorry. Can you feel can you really feel a difference between yes. the console and PC jump? It's night and day. There was definitely a, I felt like a, a delay. Now I just feel like every single little thing I do. It's like buttery smooth, is, right? Yeah. Every single every single thing I do, I, I can feel it. Oh no, it auto reset. I don't have ACOG. And I have suppressor. Not looking good, Leo. Okay. Oh my team, my team. Making a comeback. 5v3. My crouch. Straight to the baby. Let's go. Oh. Let's go! 400 bucks right there. Come on team. I have the fuser too. I can't aim. Come on, teammate, get him. Good, oh, good, nice. good. How do I get off? Eight. Eight. All right, come on, baby. Oh, no. oh, she missed all her shots, too. Please, please, teammate. Please, teammate. There's a chance you can take it, take it home. No! At least I got walked away. You got four kills, four man. Kills. You happy with that? Yeah, that's, I'm fine with that. That's a lot. So Leo, man, four kills. That's yeah. $400 worth of games for Steam. Do you have any idea what kind of games you want to buy? Uh, probably, right now I've been playing a lot of, you know, Rocket League, uh, which is free to play actually, luckily. Mm -hmm. um, so Fortnite, which is also pretty free to play. Minecraft, definitely. Um, probably some Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Cyberpunk. Uh, thank you so much to Oris for giving me this PC and be able to sponsor and thank you to Ed for building it too. You're absolutely yeah. welcome, man. Ready? Let's go sing with him. Okay. Oh, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Leo. Happy birthday to you. Congratulations, Thank man. You. Happy birthday. Thank Happy you birthday. guys so much. No offense, mom and dad, but it's probably the best birthday I've had. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, Nathan. I've spent an entire five months planning this season, and a lot of work has went into it from the very beginning. There has also been a lot of people that contributed, and without them, there wouldn't have been a season six. So I do want to give a huge thanks to Oris and Gigabyte for all of the amazing gear and the PC parts. A huge thanks to Rode for the dope ass microphone and audio interface and of course Danny from my Discord server for the awesome 3D design of the setup. That really helped me plan this whole thing and it's really the main reason why everything went so smoothly. Of course I can't end the video without thanking you guys. You are the sole reason why I'm still able to continue making videos online. You know, I've said it in the beginning of the series and I'll say it again. The main reason why I started Setup Makeover in the first place is to simply just give back to the awesome community that's been supporting the channel on a consistent basis. To put it simply, I love you guys. So with that said, if you're watching this video and you need a Setup Makeover, then make sure you are paying attention to the Setup Makeover announcements section on my Discord server. That is where I'll be posting all of the updates regarding Setup Makeover, including Season 7 applications, which will open very, very soon. Oh, before I head out, uh, if you guys want to check out Leo's Twitch channel, obviously I'm going to drop a link to it down below. How often do you stream? Well, currently, probably every day. Like on the Xbox, I can maybe stream for 30 minutes before it crashes, but definitely Ooh. now. I'll be watching Yeah. Awesome. So yeah, if you guys want to check them out, I'll drop a link to it down below. Yeah. Um, anyways, we're going to leave you to it. Enjoy your setup. Thank you. We're going to go start planning season seven mm -hmm. of Setup Makeover. Shout out to Bob, by the way, behind the camera. Mm -hmm. He's been a MVP today, too, helping uh, shoot the videos and stuff. This has been great. You're welcome, man. Um, enjoy. <laughs>